Hello, my name is Shotley and welcome back for another episode of the Red Galaxy in our Forex. And in previous episode we ended just as we found another enemy ship here. We put on the active sensors and they are now moving away. So I'm not entirely sure if they are going to attack us or not. Well, they are going to try to get back, actually. Let's uh, think about this, which way are they heading? Is it just away from us or... It is kind of away from us. So they could be going to Magadan. But that's a possibility. I have sent the battle fleet to head down here across the jump point and maybe we can catch that but the destroyers are not as quick as that one is. So that is a bit of a problem. Let's have a look. If we go for another 5 seconds, are they still moving about? About 30 seconds. Okay, so they are moving definitely down that way. So it could be that they're going to Magadan. What I could do... Actually, I have an idea. Since I know that the battle fleet is running a bit low on fuel, what I can do is we can take the oiler. You can go to the uh, salt fuel, resupply from stationary tankers. It's going to take a while. But we can then take you back through Volvocrat. And potentially, if we run low on fuel, we can at least use this. I'll move you to the colony there first. And from there, we'll figure out what we need to do. But let's uh, take it a bit slow. We're moving away. The fact that we put the active sensors on might be... Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they don't like us. We don't like them either, but to be fair, we'll see. I mean, the bloody Swiss. Well, I'm, they're not really Swiss, but anyway, they have, have their flag at least. Alright, let's probably speed up a little bit. Question is, are they going to follow us or not? Kind of felt like they were in, trying to intercept us. So I'm a bit skeptical about the situation, but... Oh, well, actually, let's... Even out the minutes there a little bit. Oh, we lost the contact already. Okay, well, I do have a plan. It seems like they were going towards Magadan, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the battle fleet to be guarding that jump point for a little while. We might go over our deployment time, quite frankly, and that is going to be a problem for the battle fleet because it's already at. Oh, yeah, we don't have a lot of time. Hmm. Well, we've got two options here. We could either leave one here, send the other one to do a quick overhaul, and then switch them around once they get here, so we're going to keep someone at least in a guard position somewhere around here. Or, we can just send both of them to overhaul, or just ignore the deployment time for a little while. But the fact is, it's still going to take a while before we get our new ships, or new destroyers. Well, they're going to be done in November, so it's not that massive. Have we actually gotten, we've gotten some of the anti-missile missiles, but not enough for both of them. Enough for one of them. Same for the Vladimir's, we don't have enough for both of them. We are producing more, of course, but not fast enough by the looks of it. Okay, so we have a bit of a dilemma here. I think we're going to go ignore the deployment time a little bit here. Because the battle fleet is already in this system, they're not that far away. And I think what I'm going to do is, instead of going to the fleet, what you're going to do is you're going to go towards there. If you find nothing, then return to Volvogra to home and you can refuel and resupply and then begin overhaul. And at, at that point, we should have more or less new ships ready. So we can then start uh, cycling them a little bit if need be. But we did find out something about that ship. If we have a look, so the... One of these. So we know that their size... 
is um, about 4,800 tons, unless they have some signature reducing stuff, but it's a small ship, so I don't think they necessarily have stealth thingies. And secondly, so it's a military engine, not entirely sure what this ship is. Doesn't look like it had a weaponry. We know that this is a military ship and it has active sensors. So it probably has some... Yeah, it must be the one that had the weapon. Well, not necessarily. This could technically have weaponry as well, but we know of five or four of their designs a little bit. All, they had, all of them had military engines. I think the one hour... Turns here for a little bit. I suppose we can speed up a little bit now. They didn't have active sensors. Oh, hold on a minute. For a moment it said that it wasn't... Are they... Are they following us? Let's have a look, because I'm pretty sure that for a moment it said that it wasn't a lost signal. I could be mistaken. Okay, well, let's uh, go with three hour turns again. Oh no! They're right on top of us now. They actually went past us a little bit. So they are following us, they're ghosting us. The question is, are they now going to shoot us? Nope. They're just flying past us. Alright, have they spotted the battle fleet here, I wonder? Okay, we know a partial, or have a partial signature of it still. Hmm. And now we lost the signal. Okay, so we should be intercepting with this fleet soon. Question is, will it be within reach of our missiles or not? If we can get it within reach of missiles, then we could try shoot it down a little bit. Which of course means a war with them, but we are expanding our military, that's for sure. Oh, I think we had a signal on it again for a little while. Well, not necessarily. Take it fairly slow, though. They were apparently heading towards our... ...place, by the looks of it. Should be reaching... Oh, right, but it is a smaller ship, so we won't be able to... ...spot it with the ra resolution 100... ...radars quite as easily. Maybe they did slip away. That is a possibility. I will apply towards the... Magadan Jam point in any case, if they are trying to run away. Okay, I'm going to take the one hour increments now. So they are clearly ghosting, or they were ghosting our ships there, but they were not shooting. So I'm not entirely sure, and they didn't have any active sensor strength. So it might not be an actual military ship, which means that if we can actually get it within reach of our missiles, then that ship might be dead. Pleasantly so. I think once they realized that we had some sensors coming in, some bigger sensors, they decided to switch to a different location. Or different directions. So actually, let me go to instead of going all the way back there, uh, remove all orders. Let's go to Novosibirsk. Move to the location. If there's nothing there. Then you can transfer back home. Basically, screen it a little bit so we can get the jump uh, gate uh, stabilizer back home, or at least back safety. Although, it, since it wasn't a hostile ship. 
How do we put a waypoint? A bit off to the side there. Jump point stabilizer. Instead of going all the way back, why don't you go to the waypoint? And then go to Magadan and start stabilizing it. It'll take some serious time, but I think it might be alright. Lost the contact again. Hmm. Okay, the shortages are continuing as usual, but I'm not entirely sure where they escaped. I mean, this place seems like a logical location that they might be going to. It would be the closest way back home for them. Question is, do I, do I dare go to the other side? I don't think I do. Because I remember that they had... They shot our diplomacy ship outside of that jump point. So no, I don't want to go in there. Okay, we'll speed up a little bit. We'll go have our overhaul and refill. Did I actually do the orders correctly? No, not yet. So, refuel, resupply, begin overhaul. We'll need to have some serious patrols down here soon enough. And I can actually leave the oiler back in Volgograd. Because it's not moving, it shouldn't be too easy to spot without sensors, or active sensors rather. Overhaul completed on Exploration 5, good. I believe you were in... Probably in the Rokuta branch. Where's the Exploration 5? Oh, here somewhere. Right, so Moscow, Smolensk, and Vorkuta. Do your work there. We can start speeding up a little bit. I don't think we'll be finding that ship again. They have faster speeds. I mean, lower size or smaller size does help getting the faster speed, that's for sure. They might have better engine tech than what we have. But we're going to have to start kind of aiming towards getting the better engines to be able to catch up with them. Battle 1 is returning. No shortage of uh, experience on one of the Crown Commanders. Right, so how is Pravda doing other than the shortage of supplies or Mercassium for the most part? We haven't dug out any more installations. Max population would be 9.1 million. Stalino, 1.6 million over here, 0.8 million. We actually have a little bit of available workers there. We are building the financial center, but that's still going to take a while. And in St. Petersburg, we are waiting for more infrastructure. We are technically building a little bit there, but just not enough. And Volgograd. Oh, there's been... Oh, it got in here, okay. So that's why we lost the sight of it, okay. For some reason it's not announcing the signatures found. Uh, in, hold on, in A3, do we have a deep space tracking station there? No. So it must have been one of our ships taking... Yeah, it probably was the colony ship that spotted that one. I mean, to be fair, if we were to manage to actually decode their language, that would uh, help a long way. Oh, hold on a minute. There's another small... Okay, the battle fleet is still heading back home. There's a shorter increment there, let's have a look. Okay, no, no shorter increments here. They probably found some jump points, that would make sense. Oh! 
Hello. So they had something in here. A5. Do we have something in A5? We do have some units, so they probably spotted that or our units spotted them. I'm not entirely sure which way. Alright, yeah, we're doing the Crown Place survey there. Okay, so they are clearly doing surveys around here. The battle one, I wonder. Do you have enough fuel? We've got a lot of it. How about we remove those? Let's see, where would the logical set be? It probably did all the surveys around here already. So it might be heading down this way now. It does have the faster speed. I think the closest one would be the B6. We're going to move down there. Move to location. Wait there for a couple days. Oh, and the oiler, actually. I'm going to move you to the B6, actually, as well. Move your orders. Go to B6. Uh oh. In Volgograd. Oh no, they're trying to destroy our colony there. That's a lot of weaponry, by the way. Strength 37. So that's probably a he. Carronade. Strength 3 might be laser. That's also a carronade. Okay. That's not good. There could be a laser particle beam, the strength 3, most likely. Although that's so many hits that it could also be a railgun. Those are carronades and those are carronades. Let's have a look. So, they destroy some infrastructure there. They destroy a lot of infrastructure there, actually. Did they kill any people? Oh yeah, they killed about 50,000. That's probably the entire population. Yep, there's no one alive there, and I'm guessing there might be quite a bit of dust in the air. Oh, this means... oh yeah, there's a lot of dust there. This means war. Luckily, we're gonna get the new ship soon. What I'm gonna have to do, though, is get the overhauls completed sooner rather than later. The fact that they're attacking so close to our home is very concerning, though. I actually wonder... How much would it take for the fighters to get down there? Let's see, the new fighters. So if, let's say, actually, probably won't be able to use that darn... Oh, but the fighters don't have the... They don't have the lead fighter yet, so they are practically useless for the time being. Oh, they still have fire controls aimed at the planet. Let's have a look. Is they, they sorted that one out now. But yeah, we are in war. That much is clear. Right, we are getting the ordnance factories at least a little bit faster now, so we are producing more missiles. But I don't think we have good enough stockpile yet. Getting the anti-missile missiles at least a little bit there. I don't think they are using missiles, so anti-missile missiles are not necessarily the priority, other than for small peppering of the enemy ships. Which mm, may or may not be a terrible idea. Let's see, so we're still getting the infrastructure there. In Pravda, we are not getting the missiles because we don't have the Ganna site. Alright then, um, let's take it slow still. So if my estimation is correct, either they... Hmm, I don't know if that ship has both the jump point and geo server so sensors or not. But I'd be lying if I wasn't, uh, or it didn't say that I'm a bit scared. They might have a massive fleet, or just that their ships have a massive amount of weaponry, that's also a possibility.
Clearly they thought that that system belonged to them, but we have a disagreement with that. There's no smaller increments there, so let's keep on moving. It's a good thing that we didn't send the oiler in there then, because that would have been shot down. We have a longer increments there. So basically anything to our north is currently off limits. Question is, can I actually... With the missile, depending on how good their um, point defense capabilities are, which we don't know yet, they might have a lot of railguns, which means that they can shoot down a lot of missiles potentially. Because you completed orders. I'll let you wait there for a little while. Okay, research completed. We got the magazine feed system efficiency, 85%. Started on the reload rate, good. Command assignment. Okay, good. Deployment time exceeded on this apparatus, which is not great. Hmm. You know what? I am going to pull you back to home, because otherwise you're going to be point or worthless, quite frankly. So refuel, resupply. Hmm. I'm not going to do the overhaul right now, just going to let you rest there for a quick while. The oiler, on the other hand, you're going to go to there and transfer fuel to colony and stay there for the time being. We are in a bit of a dire situation. On the other hand, assuming that there's something that comes close enough to the home planet, our fighters can move in, assuming that the destroyers are within reach. Okay, Battle 1 has completed orders. Hopefully they can get their deployment time down a little bit there. Just making sure that they are actually lowering. I'm not entirely sure. They should be. They should be. So 6.08 currently. Once we get another build cycle, it should go down to below that. Oh, right, the oiler. I'm going to put down some actives on, on the target there. Just for some safety. And actually, I'm going to have to do that for all the cargo ships as well. Did I? No, I didn't put your actives on. And then the colony as well. Diplomacy, you already have them on. Okay, and where is this one? Oh no. This might be stuck behind enemy lines right now. I mean, you are going to be building the jump point anyway, so I suppose it doesn't matter right now. No, at least we got the radars on. My goodness. Oh, there was a shorter increment there again. Not sure why. It could be that they were indeed hitting this way and they spotted something on the way. Or they jumped through the system. Okay, we got another Minsk. We started on the leader fighter, so at least we'll have a squadron that can do a little bit damage. I mean, the 30 missiles should do something. Of course, they don't have that massive range, so that is going to be a problem. But that's going to be done in... oh, May. Okay, that's going to take a while then. Um, all those factories are going to be done in January. And we are building a lot of missiles at least. How much do we have right now? We've got enough anti-missile missiles for one ship and same for the size 3 missiles. So not great in all fairness. So one more day with the 3 hour increments and then I'm going to go for 8 hour increments again. Oh, they found us fuel. Okay. There's another... Okay. That must be a survey vessel. Let's have a look. So is the Battle 1 now ready to... They have gotten the deployment time down a little bit. 
Now the question is, are they surveying there or not? And secondly, how far? That's not a massive distance. So we might get there in time. So fleet, uh, salt fuel, move to 2.1 days. We'll have to see about that, but that's going to be in the next episode because we have run out of time with this one. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, share, if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye bye.